perfect drum posture. Shoulders back, head directly over your spine. Balanced and mobile, like a professional athlete, like a lynx. It's exactly that type of posture I've been bringing to the table since... <clears throat> Hang on, that's not the right footage. What I meant to show you was this. This isn't going how I intended. Okay, okay, okay. You guys, it's time to set the record straight and come clean. I'm Nate and I have bad posture. It's true, I've historically had the Ichabod Crane Stoop. Couple of examples. It hurts me to show these, but it's a public service. Anyway, as long as I can remember, it's been like this. And believe it or not, I've tried various things over the years. I've tried back exercises. I've tried spinal decompression. I've even tried thinking about it real hard. But inevitably, I'll catch sight of myself in a video shoot from the side, like this. Even the minor video. And it's back to the drawing board. Like, I don't even know what to do at this point. In fact, I quit. I'm no longer playing drums sitting down. That's right, I'll only play suspended from the ceiling by my ankles. Of course, I'll have to staple the drums to the ceiling, but small details. Hey. What? Who's that? God, is that you? If it is, I just want to say I'm sorry I didn't believe in you, but my schedule these days with the videos and the- It's not God. Okay. Because between you and me, I'm not really one for organized religion, you know? Like with the communion, and I'm supposed to believe this is really the body and the blood. Silence! And being silent. Or trying. I'm just gonna stop. Our time is short, mortal. I'm here to tell you you don't need to play suspended from the ceiling like an animal caucus. I'm listening? No, mortal. There is another solution. To borrow your earthly pilots, a hack. So you're saying there's hope? There is, mortal. But first, tell the people to stay tuned. All will be revealed. Okay, happy to do that, but why not just tell them right away? Silence! All will be revealed. I guess all will be revealed. Should I say the... Today on 8020, the apparently mysterious hack, this godlike entity who insists he's not a god, is going to drop on us, which will make sitting up straight with good posture easier. And in the process, a little more about me and all the things I've tried and maybe a little bit of what's worked. Drum hack to prevent stooped over posture. Are you going to say it? Stay tuned. That's what I'm talking about. I should do the thing where I give you the goods in case you only tuned into this video for some discreet takeaway. Like if your MacBook keeps displaying the same error message and you find the one video on YouTube that's under one minute and you just want the goods and you're hoping there isn't a whole exposition or a make sure you subscribe thing or any kind of make sure you watch this whole video to learn open loops. Just the goods. So here they are. With zero other context, I found that pulling the snare in high tom closer to me created a situation where I was naturally more reclined and extending my feet farther on the footboards of the kick drum and hats. When I reviewed video footage of myself playing, I discovered that indeed I was less likely to stoop over the kit. This, along with a bunch of stuff I'm going to talk about later in the video, is the hack I discovered that finally got me out of the bad habit. Correction, this hack was handed down to me from on high. Happy! And for a free downloadable list of my favorite stretches and upper back strengthening exercises, plus a free course that will fix the three biggest issues I see holding intermediate drummers back, just click the link below the play. Now, for those of you who are here to be entertained and have just a few more minutes to take the ride, the other things I've found have helped out with the stew. But let's start at the beginning. This is me sitting at a desk when I'm not playing or getting my ass kicked, where I spend a lot of my day like many of us do. Sitting, depending on who you talk to, is either the new smoking... As you might have heard before, sitting is considered the new smoking. This is referring to the growing epidemic in sedentary lifestyle. Or almost a complete myth. Folks, posture is the single biggest cesspool of bullshit ever. Posture is mostly genetic. It has almost nothing to do with muscle strength. It's just how you usually sit. If you want better posture, check this out. 
Just be attentive of it. Sit more upright. And over several weeks, you'll learn to, by default, sit more upright. There's no exercise you need to do in the gym. Nobody has bad posture because their pecs are too strong and their back is too weak. Whether you think it's sitting all day or my genetics, stooping has long been an issue for me. And my setup was partly to blame. So without further ado, kit subtlety one, sit high enough. I'm not talking crazy high, but when my hips are above my knees, I don't feel like I need to spend a ton of energy to sit up straight. By contrast, if I'm sitting low, unless I want to tip over backwards, my body has to kind of fold. I talk a lot more about this in my high throne versus low throne video. From down here, it feels like I have to work a little harder. I'm especially sensitive to lower back pressure because I've been doing jujitsu and powerlifting all week. Not humble bragging, I actually feel like kind of an old man. Don't worry. I'm gonna do mobility, I'm gonna stretch it out. But I could see how years of sitting down here, especially if I'm no longer in my 20s, could take a toll. But the next part was crucial for me too, playing my drums and cymbals high enough that I wasn't just towering over them, but still stooped over. If I've done this right, I've got some handy diagrams to illustrate. But imagine yourself as a geometric shape instead of like a flesh and blood human with hopes. And just work with me here, all right? So once we're sitting on a high enough throne, if all the surfaces are beneath us, we can just kind of fold over at the hips. But if everything is a little bit higher, it encourages us to sit more upright. Now, let's demonstrate on the kit. I set my snare at just a little below my belly button, instead of down by my knees. Then, I make sure my cymbals are at least at eye level. Now, you can completely break this rule and still have good posture, like Benny Greb here. But if Dr. Mike is correct, some of us got a worse posture hand in the genetic lottery. So we need all the help we can get. Folks, Posture is the single biggest cesspool of bullshit ever. Posture is mostly genetic. So I set my drums and cymbals a little higher to set myself up for success. Now it's back to that original hack. But let's illustrate with our geometric diagrams, which I hope I succeeded in getting because by this point there's a lot riding on this. There's also the lateral plane. So if you imagine sitting high enough with surfaces that are high enough, but you still need to extend your body to reach them, that's gonna cause you to shift your hips back it's going to cause that acute knee angle I talked about in other videos, and it's going to encourage your head and shoulders to move forward relative to the posture ideal of your head being perfectly above your throne. Instead, if I move my snare and rack tom just an inch or so closer so I don't have to reach that far, you can see by my stick figure that that allows a more neutral spine angle and also makes it easier to have an obtuse bend in the knees. Basically, all that stuff Elitch is so good about. And here's the crux, guys. I'd always hear these people like Elitch or Brandon Green over at the Drum Mechanics channel talk about this stuff. Like, you should have an obtuse angle in your knee when you're playing the kick drum. And I was always like, it must be nice for you, bro. I always assumed it was just because of my body geometry. Like, my super long female. And in the meantime, I was still stooping over the kit like our boy Ichabod. But little did I know, I was just missing off this little detail, and then everything finally made sense. And I was able to play with something closer to ideal posture without constantly having to think about it. Silence! You dare disrespect me! It was I who invented the posture hack! And as I was saying, it was all thanks to... What should I call you? You could call me Johnny. It was all thanks to Johnny. In all seriousness, guys, I'm not a medical professional or a PT or a fitness pro or even really a fitness bro. So do your own research and ask a real pro about all this stuff. And this is only my anecdotal account of what worked for me. But with all those caveats out of the way, if you'd like to download my preferred stretching and upper back exercises, which, depending on who you talk to, are either an important component of maintaining mobility as I grow older, or mostly placebo, and also get my brand new free video course on the three biggest things holding intermediate drummers back and how to fix them, just click the link below the player and enter your email address in on the next page. And I'll see you soon in another lesson of the... Actually, do you want to do it? I'll see you soon in another lesson of the week.